what's up everybody? We are going to hit an estate sale, but Woo! before we do, I want to let you know that the reseller rally is back. Woo -woo! Wednesday night, me, Pete the yeah. Craigslist Hunter, Kevin the Commonwealth Picker announced it for Saturday, September 30th here in Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah. We did it in 2021. It was amazing. We had so much fun. So we are doing it again. As of the re this recording, there is maybe about 20 tickets left. So, if you're watching this and you want to go, hopefully there's still some tickets left when we release this. I'll put a link down below in the description. We really hope you all can make yeah. it. Yeah, don't miss it. It's it's so much fun. It, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Great times were had last time. Yes. This guy drug us out of bed because it's not a garage sale. What is this called? A state sale. A state sale. Yeah, but I did bring you coffee. I, yeah. I appreciate that. He brought donuts for the kids. And we want leprechaun ones. Leprechaun donuts? Yeah, St. Patrick's Day. Sawyer's a little cranky because he tries to get out of his seatbelt. So and we wouldn't let him. Day. Yeah. We're terrible. <laughs> terrible parents. Horrible parents. Yeah, so we have an estate sale and it's like the beginning of March. So I'm like, I'm a little rusty. I'm a little rusty on this. Are you rusty? Yeah, I am pretty rusty. So, but I'm excited. Rusty, but excited. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure when like it's not the season yet, and like you have, you have high expectations of what you're gonna find. So. Fingers crossed. Let's see what. This is cool. It is cool, huh? Yeah, I wanna take this. You wanna buy that? Yeah. This is cool. You don't have money. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, for a buck. All right, I am back at the shop. I got a lot of stuff at that sale and everything was really cheap. I completely forgot to bring my backpack. I normally have my backpack and my little clip with my GoPro. So it's kind of like a point of view as I'm walking through the sale, but totally forgot it. I just had the GoPro like in my hand, kind of pointing at stuff as I was finding it. So that's why there's not much footage at the sale, but I'll walk through everything that I bought and how much I spent. All right, shirts and jackets were really cheap. I almost say it was like 50 cents or a buck. I got this King Griffey Jr. This is from, I want to say early 2000s, if I had to guess. Really cool shirt. I might just keep that one. Uh, another Cincinnati shirt. This is a WEBN Fireworks. They made a shirt for this every year. And they did a mashup here of the Flying Pig. There's a Flying Pig marathon every year in Cincinnati. So that's pretty neat. That's actually going to um, Mojo Casher. I sent that to Josh, and he's like, I want that. So I'm giving that to Josh. Then I got this. Gander Mountain Flannel. It's a really thick flannel. I don't think it's a jacket. I think it's just a thick shirt. I saw a similar one go for about 30 bucks. And I've got a dollar, less than a dollar of that. So that was a good find. Got this VCR for three bucks. Uh, it looks pretty rough, not gonna lie. So I'm not sure if it works. If it does work, it goes for about 35 or 40 bucks. Anytime I find VCRs for $5 or less, I pick them up every time because they seem to be selling really, really fast now. Everybody's getting into the VHS tapes. It's just a nostalgic thing, I guess. It's not great media because they get eaten all the time, but everybody's going back to watching VHS tapes. And to be honest, it seems like when I buy VCRs, it's 50-50 if they're gonna work. So if I pay five bucks or less for every VCR I get, then my price is about close to $10 for the ones that actually work that I'm selling. That's kind of the math, that I'm, the loose math I'm doing there. And so if I'm getting 35, 40 bucks a pop, I'm, that's still good. You know, that's still a, a pretty good ROI on the VCR. So I know a lot of people don't like messing with them, but they're not a ton of work. You can test them in five minutes, less than a couple minutes and you know, pack them in three or four minutes. So, and then obviously the combo units, the, the DVD VCR combos go for a lot more sometimes than 35 or 40. And then if you find a DVD recorder, you could be talking 100, 200, $300 for some of the models. So keep an eye out for the VCRs. I know a lot of people don't like messing with them, but there's some money there. I found these little guys for a quarter each. These are little stocking holders. They're from 1985. I saw the brand on it somewhere. But now I can't seem to find it again. Here it is. G Future, 1985. 
I didn't see any sold comps on these. I didn't look them up at the sale. I was just like, you know, for 25 cents each, I'll take a chance. Not really sure they're worth anything. Got this really cool Elvis Presley handkerchief for 50 cents. Could not find any comps on that one. Whitney found this. Game Boy Advance SP Game & Go Kit. This was a buck, and I guess there was actually a game in here at one point. Turns out, this really doesn't have any value. I just thought it was kind of cool, thought it might be worth something, so we grabbed it for a buck. But I saw sold comps, including a game, for like five bucks, so not a big hit on that one. Got a lot of hats at that sale. I got, I think, like 14 hats for a quarter each. They're all vintage. We got Super Bowl... Uh, Ray Bestos, a lot of trucker hats with patches, blackjack, Rigoletto cigars. This is cool. Um, KOI, I think there's one K products brand hat in here. Looked it up, wasn't going for much. None of these hats really have big value. This one right here is really neat. Corduroy Washington Redskins. They've since changed their name to the Commanders. This is going to my buddy Tim from over the years. If you guys aren't following Tim, please give him a follow. That guy is so much fun. Really, really good content. He is super knowledgeable on a ton of different areas, especially glassware. I've learned a lot from him about glassware. So, Tim, that's going to you, buddy. This one's really neat. This is uh, Monroe Auto Parts. I think they added this patch on after the fact because the... The uh, brand itself is a military brand, so I'm not sure what they did there. What I'm probably doing with these is I think there might be one or two that I list separately, but then after that I'm just going to do a uh, big lot. I've done trucker hat lots before on eBay, and I've had success. I can usually average 3 4 $5 a hat, something like that. So I'll just lay them all out, take a bunch of pictures, run an auction, start it at a buck. Got this pumpkin for $2. Anytime I find Halloween decorations, I grab them. This one is, I think, Walmart brand. It says marketed by Walmart stores, and I cannot find any other kind of brand name on this. So I don't know that this is going to go for big money, and it might not sell till Halloween. But I'm hopeful for 25 30 maybe even $40. bucks. we will see. Any, anytime you see good Halloween decorations from the 90s or earlier, grab them. Some of that stuff can bring really good money. All right, last but not least, I got a Sony boombox. This is a... Uh, tape deck and CD player and same rules apply with these as they do with the VCRs I don't like paying more than five bucks for these because it's like 50% that they actually work usually the tape player goes bad because there's a little belt in there and I definitely don't have the time or patience to go in there and repair the thing and it's probably not worth enough to even make it worthwhile so if you find these for five bucks or less that's Sony brand or other good brands pick them up it's worth a shot always check the antenna seems like the antenna brakes on these very frequently i've seen so many with broken antenna i paid three for this one if it is working it's selling for about 35 or 40 bucks so hopefully that one's working at the beginning of this video i mentioned that the reseller rally is in cincinnati september 30th on the riverboat we recorded that saturday morning it is now tuesday morning i'm just now getting around to recording the end of this and tickets are officially sold out so if you want to go, just shoot me an email. My email is down in the link in the uh, description, cincinnatipicker at gmail.com, and I will gladly put you on a wait list if anybody cancels, anything like that. Um, we are also doing a get-together the Friday night before the rally at the Riverboat. So it's going to be at a hotel, Embassy Suites, Covington, Kentucky, and don't need a ticket to come to that. So if you just want to hang out, meet some people, you're more than welcome to come and cannot wait to see all of you there. Last one was really, really fun. I know this one's going to be a lot of fun too. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.